Paul Rosh, and I am here with local metal band Veins and Malice. Do you guys mind telling us your names and your roles in the band? Uh, my name's Joe, uh, vocalist. Alex, lead guitar. Brandon, drums. Jim, bass. Mark, guitar. Alright, um, do you guys mind telling us the origins of Veins and Malice? Well, Brandon over here, he's the founder of the band. Um, tell us how you uh, found or made the name. Well, I made the name from a Bring Me the Horizon song, actually. Uh, Black and Blue is the name of the song. I got the name Veins of Malice from the line, I feel the malice in my veins. That's how that came together. Hey Jim, um, are you a Violent Femmes fan? A Violent who? Violent Femmes. I don't know what that is. It's because funny because... Captain Obscure doesn't know that. <laughs> it, it's funny because that's what you do in your bass solos. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Everybody knows that, you know. Yeah, he's typically the first person to come up with an idea for a song. It's yeah. usually like hear Alex coming up with like a riff or even like a full song, and then like practice with Jim and Brandon. And then Joe might have lyrics already or add lyrics. Hmm. But like, with like one song, Jim totally brought it to the table. The Feast for the Flies. Yeah. Feast for the Flies. That was all Jim. Mm -hmm. Good job, well, Jim. I, I wrote the lyrics for that. Like a hack. Who's stealing Jim's thunder? Kachika, <laughs> Kachika. <laughs> when I was doing research for from you guys, a friend told me that uh, you were very influenced by La Dispute for your lyrics. Um, as far as like my poetry and personally goes, yeah. We're not the band that sings about breaking hearts, more about breaking faces. <laughs> Alright. Well, what about Hop to Neverland? Yeah. <laughs> You don't like that one. <laughs> right. I'm just saying. That's more of a suicide song. That's more influenced by the top than anything. That's, I consider that a pretty hard song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your, um, some of your lyrics are a bit of a concept for them. Like, where do you get your main uh, inspiration from? Um, main inspiration for lyrics... Jim, don't, or Joe, don't lie. Just tell him you're a sick, twisted puppy. Yeah, oh, okay. I have a pretty good imagination <laughs> as to where it comes from lyrics. I mean... Um, some lyrics come from personal views, like A Feast for the Flies is about abortions and my views on it. Um, Kill Crew, as far as how I view the metal community and whatnot. What do you guys think Veins of Malice brings to the local metal scene that other metal bands don't bring? Variety. Originality. Originality. Mm -hmm. That one. We make a modern sound out of the, a lot of like older sounds instead of yeah. trying to copy other modern bands. I know you guys have recorded, recorded a fair amount of songs. You guys have an EP out. Yes. Um, it's a Feast for the Flies. That's the title of the yeah. Why don't um, we have one of those on here? Good idea. Oh well. <laughs> How many songs are on it? Six. Six songs, is it? Yeah. yeah. Do you guys uh, have uh, new songs that you guys are working on? Yep. Yes. We yes. do. Mm -hmm. working on, uh, what are they called? Well, the first one that we've written since post A Feast for the Flies is Manipulating the Masses. Uh, right now we're working on a new song called uh, Remembrance, mm -hmm. and then that's pretty much what we got so far. And well, we got a couple in the pipeline. Oh, yeah, the ones we're practicing. Yeah, we don't have titles yet. Yeah. Um, for metal music, um, what do you think kind of like message or just like emotion metal conveys that other music genres don't do? Anger. It's a mm -hmm. good release for anger and a positive. Well, what about mission. punk? Yeah, punk too. Punk, yeah, is kind it's of all kind of lumped in the same thing. But metal's mature usually. Yeah, yeah, because like when most people like see punk, it's like it's like the whole anti-conformist kind of thing. Like that's punk, but like what is metal though? Metal to me is uh, more than just the music genre. It's a way of life. It's you know a way you dress. It's a way you portray yourself. It's a way you view the world. It's a way that you view others and whatnot. Thank you for putting that over my head. Um, it, that's as far as I view it as. Yeah, I'd say lyrically it, it like um, it represents society. Like no 
old bars and we'll talk about topics that people don't want to talk about. Thank you, gentlemen.